Jacob from ONGC Systems here. Today we're going to be looking at another feature of SharePoint, the Picture Library. SharePoint Picture Libraries are optimised for images, and they allow you to sort by picture dimensions, type, file size, name, and date modified. You can add other columns if need be. You can link to the photos in your Picture Library elsewhere on the site, say a team homepage or a blog. Picture Libraries also enable you to add in a description and keywords for the photo, which is used for searching in SharePoint. For example, if you added the keyword company logo to all the company logo images, you could easily search SharePoint for the next time you need the file, instead of having to dig for it through the entirety of SharePoint. This is just another way that SharePoint can streamline and improve your workflow on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's dive into using a picture library. Picture libraries work much the same as other sections of SharePoint regarding uploading files. You can drag and drop multiple files or folders straight into the picture library and it will upload straight into SharePoint, keeping the folder hierarchy. Once you've added in your files that you wish to upload, you'll see them displayed as thumbnails by default. You can change the view by clicking the option in the top right and selecting the option that you wish. The other options work much the same, such as move to and copy to, and sharing is the same as sharing files and folders elsewhere in SharePoint. Clicking on a photo will open it for you to view straight in the browser if need be. To view more information on the photo, just hover over the file and select the See Details option. You'll then get some information on the right hand side, which is also where you can add information about the image. Scroll down and you'll see a heading called Description. Adding text in here will make the images searchable using those words. If I add the word BMW to this image, I can now search SharePoint for BMW and it will display this photo as a result. Further down this section you can see activity regarding who created and edited the file, and then some general information such as the file name and the dimensions. To use a photo on a web page or blog post, you'll need a direct link to the image. It's very simple to get this. Simply select the photo that you wish to use, and then either right click and select copy link, or click copy link in the top action bar. This will generate a link for you, which is a direct link to the image file. This has been an overview of how to use SharePoint picture libraries to organise and manage your photos and how to add descriptions and keywords to make them searchable for everyone in your company. Ensure that you add the right information to every image that you upload as this will reduce the time spent searching for the right image to use. If done correctly, you can create a very powerful image gallery that is easily usable by anyone in the company should they ever need a specific image.